Hey guys, what's up? It is late today, but today I decided I would do a palette bingo and I'll be using this little palette here. I have showed it on my channel before. This palette is by Mira Beauty. It is the Bombay Baby palette. It looks like this. And the inside is pretty fun as well. So it has a lot of different colors in there. So checking out the inside, it does look like that. So doing a palette bingo, I feel like this ought to be fun and interesting. And I'm doing a palette bingo today because really I needed to get a video up, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. So palette bingos are easy and fun. And this palette has 12 shades in there. And what you do is you just randomly generate five shades from the palette to use to create an eye look. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to use a randomizing dot, <laughs> going to use random.org to randomize five numbers, one through 12, and we'll see what I get. Also keep in mind that the five shades that you pick, you do have to use all five in your look. And if you've watched any of my videos before where I've done these palette bingos, I always do them backwards. So if I do that again today, I do apologize. The first number that was chosen was number three. So taking a look at the palette, if we start at that red orange shade, the third one is gonna be the Shimmery Gold. Now these shade names are hard to pronounce, so I apologize because I'll probably mispronounce them, but this one is called Chudian, Chudian. Not real sure, but it looks like that. It's a really, really nice shimmery gold it's like a true yellowy gold and it's nice and shimmery see that right there that's a pretty color to use shade number two i got number 10 so this one is going to be another shimmery shade it is going to be like this olivey brownish type of shade right here it's also a shimmer i have not actually used this shade in this palette before yet so this Ought to be interesting but it is really pretty and that is one swipe right there those two colors look like they'll go together really well because that is like an olivey brown and then the yellow gold and shade number three is going to be shade number 11 so it's gonna be right next to that olivey brown which is that sky blue right there and this sky blue is a matte eyeshadow. So look at, ooh, that's pretty. So let's swatch it out. I don't know what we're gonna do, but there it is. That's three out of five. All right, number, shade number four is gonna be number two, which is gonna be the mustard yellow right there. I have used that shade a ton out of this palette. Every time I use this palette, I always use that color. Looks like this, it's just a really nice mustard yellow. And right there that one is. And then we got one more to go. All right, so the last shade is gonna be shade number six. So, so counting them out, one, two, three, four, five, six. It is the pressed glitter. I just used this the other day. It's the pressed glitter in the palette, so it looks like that right there. The pressed glitter in this palette is really pretty. It's just that I don't think it goes with this color story I have going on. Like at all. But here it is. Oops. It's hard to it's hard to get a swatch of this one because it's a, like a true pressed glitter. But, so it's very chunky, very flaky. But there's the five shades that I'm working with today. For it being October, I'm sweating major right now. I have the air off, that way we can hear me and everything be good, but I'm completely sweating. All right, so let's get started here. All right, so I think I know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take the matte mustard yellow shade. Let me find my mirror. I'm gonna put this in the crease.
See, it's a very pretty color. So, um, it's really great. This whole palette's really great. I recommend their products. So, it's just going to be hard to do this look. Okay, then I'm going to take that olive brown shade and... I'm going to kind of use this just to kind of deepen up the... So I'm going to use an olive green shade, brown shade to kind of just deepen up the outer corner. Maybe the crease. We'll see. Sometimes it's hard to use shimmers in this manner because sometimes you just... Sometimes you just get the shimmery payoff of the color, not really the base of the color. So we will see. Sometimes things surprise you. Also, if this eye look is super heavy and possibly unblended, I'm not really looking up close to any type of mirror or reflective object. I'm using the viewfinder and my mirror that's over here, but it is pretty far away. Um, so. If it's not really blended out that great, I apologize, but just bear with me. So I think we're going to go just leave it like that. Just focus it right on the outer corner. I am blending it up and into the crease a touch, but not really pulling it through. Those two colors together look really nice. I like that. So, I have the Shimmery Gold, the Blue Matte, and then that glitter. So, this is what I think I'm going to do, okay? So, I'm going to take the Shimmery Gold. I'm going to put that all over the lid because I think that'll be nice and go with the basics of what I'm doing right here. So this will be a basic, simple look if you just left it this way. All right, and then I'm moving on to my go-to trick, which is every time I pull blue, I use it as a pop of color. So just taking that and I'm putting it on the lower lash line. Surprise, surprise. I've actually not used the blue this shade either from this palette yet. So this is going to be a first time experience. Again, if this looks a little crazy, it's because I'm doing my makeup from far away and it's really hard to see, bruh. So that blue is a really pretty shade. This wouldn't be my go-to look, but the blue is really nice, poppy, punchy, bright. And then the last shade that we have is the pressed glitter. And this is where it's gonna throw a wrench in this look because what I'm doing today with this pressed glitter is I'm just gonna use it to like do my inner corner, honestly, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm picking up Okay, I really want to use something close up to put this on with. So I'm just popping this like into the inner corner area. Just, can you even see that? Just like that because I don't want to get it in my eye, but, but I want it to just be like a pop in that area. You know what I mean? So. Okay, I think I put more on that other side than this one. So it's like not even even. That looks kind of weird. <laughs> so essentially, this is the five shadows that I chose. I'm going to kind of spruce it up with some eyeliner and some mascara. And then this is what we have. Something real strange. Alright guys, so hopefully this video wasn't too bad. It was just a basically one take and I was done and that's all I did. I, I did a little bit of editing to it, but that was essentially it. But I was kind of rushed. But anyways, if you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!